your video files are too big, wrong format, need a fast conversion, FFmpeg actually solves all of that for free. So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to explain what is FFmpeg and what is its power. So let's get started. FFmpeg is a powerful command line tool for video and audio processing used by Netflix, YouTube and even OBS. So before exploring the power of FFmpeg, you have to install it. Installation is easy for all operating system like Windows, Linux or Mac. Let's see how we can install FFmpeg on Windows. Go to FFmpeg.org, click on download, click on Windows and download build by BTVN. And here you have to download the master latest Win64 GPL version. Click on show all assets and here download FFmpeg master latest Win64 GPL.zip version. Download it. Download is finished. Now extract the downloaded zip file with any software you want, any software you like. And as you can see here, the extracted folder have a bean folder which have the ffmpeg.exe file. So this is not an installer. This is a file which need to be added on the environment variable. So when the bean folder is present, go to one directory up, rename this extracted folder as ffmpeg, copy this folder to your C drive or any place where you will not be deleting it accidentally. So pasting the folder here on my C drive and now in my C drive inside the ffmpeg folder I have bin folder and in the bin folder I have ffmpeg.exe and other two executable files. So copy the path of this bin folder by clicking here and then go to your environment variables and click on environment variables and here now click on path double click on path and click on new and paste the copied bin folder which is containing the ffmpeg.exe okay so now click ok and ok now everything is done ffmpeg is installed on my windows pc but if you are on, on linux then you can simply type sudo apt install ffmpeg because ffmpeg is added to the all popular linux distributions like Debian, Fedora, OpenSUSE, etc. Okay, so click on this and FFmpeg will be installed on your machine. And for Mac, you can install FFmpeg with Homebrew. The command for Mac is brew install FFmpeg. So our installation is done. Let, let's go back to our command prompt once again and see if FFmpeg is installed already or not. Yeah, we can see that FFmpeg is already installed on my machine. Now it's time to video processing. Here I have a video file called input.mp4 and I'll show you how to convert this mp4 to mkv or webm or avi or any format whatever format of video you have and if you want to convert to a different format you can do that with ffmpeg so I'm opening my command prompt here and typing ffmpeg i and the input is input.mp4 and I want to convert it to mkv so output underscore mkv dot mkv this will convert this mp4 to mkv okay if you want to change the codec if you want to change the bitrate or frame rate anything you can also pass that in the middle of this command but for this tutorial i'm just keeping it simple the conversion is done now if i go to this folder i can see that a new mkv file is generated and now let's see how we can reduce the file size preserving the video quality let's see how we can decrease the file size preserving the quality as the main file so for that we are using a we are using a separate command with a CRA flag and the value is from 18 to 28 the lower is better so let's place the value as 27 and name the file as reduced file size dot mkv okay let's see if the file size is reduced here the input file is 90 megabyte and the output file is 82 megabyte when the file is very large you will see a significant difference in file size this two file is almost identical but uh, but the size of the file is reduced okay and it is a open source project new feature being continuously added this is a must-have tool for anyone doing video processing on their pc so let me know if you face any issue while installing this tool and check out the video description for more information about this tool like documentation and if you have learned something out of this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content in the future thanks for watching